Hello, I am Rhonda Church Fenfrock of Fruitful Life Studio, and I have a passion for painting on fabrics. Hi, I'm just pulling up to my booth at Rocky Hill Antiques in Exeter, California. They aren't quite open, so I'm going to drive around and look for some inspiration. Today, I'm painting watercolor sunflowers. There weren't many sunflowers around town, so I would have to find my inspiration from other places. So I decided to look through some old photos. One of my third grade students brought in a beautiful vase of sunflowers from her yard. I threw out some oil pastels, black paper. We did a study of Vincent van Gogh and look at what these students created. Today I'm using my brand new sunflower decor stamp from IOD as well as IOD black ink. Before using your stamp for the first time, remove the cover and then sand it lightly with a very fine sanding block. Then they will be ready to ink up and use on your projects. The techniques I show you in this video can be used on t-shirts, throw pillows, placemats, napkins, whatever you have that's 100% natural fibers. I'm using a 100% cotton bandana that I pre-washed without any fabric softener. After each stamp, you may want to juice up that ink pad again using IOD Decor ink. The ink really soaks in to the natural fibers and I like it when I see that it has made an impression through the back of the cotton. That tells me that it has penetrated the fibers enough. I have some alcohol cleaning wipes handy to clean the ink off of my freezer paper so that I can keep stamping without making a mess. After letting the ink dry completely, I heat set with a very hot iron. I do this again after my watercolor painting. I also steam it one last time just to get all of that ink and paint into the fibers of the fabric. Give your stamps a nice warm sudsy bath with gentle detergent. Now for the fun part, adding the watercolor paintings to this cotton scarf. First I mixed DIY paints with water using the Water Girl Continuous Mist Sprayer along with some textile medium. The DIY liquid patina acts as a textile medium to make the paint more permanent on your fabrics. You'll see that I mist the cotton often to keep that paint flowing easily. Now I'll show you what not to do. Now I'm using the brand new DIY mixing powders in date night, but I should have just put it directly onto the plate. I made a big mess when I mixed it up. So I emptied it onto the plate, added more water with the textile medium, and this gave an intense effect to my sunflowers. Just what I was looking for. If you get too much paint in an area and it starts to mute out your black ink, you can always dab it back with a wet cloth and remove some of that paint. The new making powder called Plant Lady mixed with water and the liquid patina was just the right accent for the green leaves. Now for my favorite color, Elixir. Again, I'm mixing it up and I'm adding it to the background of this scarf. To find these beautiful IOD decor stamps, contact your local IOD stockist. And for these very intensely pigmented DIY paints and making powders, contact your DIY retailer or visit my website, fruitfullifestudio.com, for all the supplies you see in this video. 
Do you see how much pigment was left on my freezer paper? That tells me it seeped through all the fibers and will be more permanent. After heat setting, my scarf is ready to wear. All my hand painted items are hand washed with a gentle detergent. I hope you get out your DIY paints and new making powders and create something just for you. Thanks for watching and happy creating!